Mr. David Showalter. Good evening, everyone. It's a great honor for me to follow the Brian Lloyd scholarship that was given out by Ed Kirby. Because I knew Brian also, and he's absolutely right in everything he said about both of our principals, former and current. I'm here tonight to present the Josh Walter Mobile 704 Scholarship to honor four brave men. That was Lieutenant Commander Scott Dell, Lieutenant Patrick Myrick, Lieutenant James Buffalo, and my son, A.T. Judy Joshua Walter. In August 2004, all four men perished in the crash of Blue 704 while flying from the deck of the aircraft carrier USS John C. Stennis. I stand here tonight a few months from the 10 year anniversary of the crash. And I often listen to people when they talk about living the dream. My son Josh always wanted to fly in airplanes from a little kid. When Josh graduated from Poe High in 1998, I noticed that he wasn't following after his dream. So I talked to him about it, and he went out, and the next thing I knew, the Navy had offered him a field job in aviation, and he enlisted. Five years after graduating from high school, Josh was working on airplanes, flying jets from aircraft carriers, and a squadron of blue wolves who once had flew then President George Bush to the USS Abraham Lincoln in May of 2003. When the tragic accident happened a year later, he was truly living his dream at that point. If Josh was here tonight, I'm sure he would have no regrets about his choice of chasing after his dream to fly. So to the seniors sitting here tonight, in the next couple months, you too will have to make choices to pursue your dreams or to play it safe. Life is about taking chances. If you pursue your dreams, you'll never regret the fact that you did. Tonight's first recipient comes from the ROTC program. Every year, Major Provost and I get together and choose an outstanding student from her program. So can I have Cadet First Sergeant Artemis Hossel please come join me on stage. The next recipient has done many videos in TV news this year. She's been an anchor and a reporter and one, was one of the hosts in the WASP video that I'm sure will be shown on this campus for years to come, Wendy Cruz. She was also an anchor, reporter, and involved in many videos done by TV News. She even managed to find a little time to run and be named the prom queen. Yeah.
The next year, they have been in my class this year. I found him to be funny, hardworking, serious, and a leader. One thing I haven't mentioned is he's a hard-nosed baseball player. I really appreciate someone who plays the game the right way. Toby Rainwater. You guys should have given me my hand. I'd like to surprise you, like Gabby. Okay. I saved the last recipient for now, for a reason. I was afraid if I didn't, if I did it earlier, I wouldn't make it through the rest of my speech. She is truly reminiscent of all the Lady Cat soccer players that I coached long ago. When I stepped down as a coach last year, I was concerned about the younger players I left behind. I had hoped nothing negative would happen to any of them. My worst fears were realized this year when this young lady came by my room and I talked to her about school and then I asked her the question that I probably shouldn't have asked, how's it going inside? She, uh, she told me that she had been cut from the team at that point. She said that she was, the coach told her she was too aggressive, among other things. The reason why I left all my soccer players was before, because of just this thing. They were aggressive and fearless. I know this young lady will be successful in life in whatever career she pursues. I hope she only remembers the good times in soccer. Selma Robles. Darby, and your soon-to-be-born new baby daughter. Okay.